car talks let's get into it today guys it's cold Whew. i just want to get into one simple thing and that is how to overcome fear and i i'm going to talk to you about some personal stories on how i've overcome fear and then also some of the things that i think that some of you guys out there can start to do because there's a lot of men who are scared to they're scared to invest in themselves they're scared to take a risk and they're scared of your you're literally scared of your own potential because i'm someone who i have a mind of abundance you know i've never worried about losing anything i don't worry about anything really because i just know that there's always going to be more for me so it's hard for me to get scared of certain things so I want to talk to you about how you can overcome fear. I'm going to break it down. And I want you to keep watching until the end. I'm going to break it down. And I'm going to start with a personal story. When I was um, 18, I got let go by Crystal Palace, right? So I didn't get my professional contract. And I was presented with an opportunity to move to the States and play football out there. Mind you, I was only 18. So I was still young, still developing, still finding myself. And I was worried because I was told, look, you've got the education for it. You're smart enough. Like, you'll do really well in the States. But obviously, I was concerned because, you know, I didn't want to leave everything I knew. I didn't want to leave my friends. I didn't want to leave my country. And I thought that if I go there, all my football opportunities would disappear. You know, I was being told different things. And, yeah, I was very fearful. I was so fearful that anybody who knows anything about America... The semester starts like around August or something like that. And if you play America, if you play college soccer, that's when the season is because the season is in the fall, not the spring. So I was so scared that I didn't even start then. I waited until the spring, which means I didn't even get to play the first season. I essentially came in at the end of the season. Um, and I want to talk to you. I overcame that basically by firstly consulting with people in my circle that I trusted. A lot of guys don't have a good enough circle around them so they don't have anyone that they can um, present their fears to that's the first thing you need someone to present your fears to man like and that's the thing a lot of men are quite lonely who they don't have anyone to talk to so i had to add people to present my fears to that was the first thing and if you are feeling lonely you got to look in your circle and see like who are the trusted advisors who are the people there's always someone in your circle that like, i call them trusted advisors people that you can say okay cool they help me with this or that so that's one thing. The next thing I did was um, I sat with my thoughts a little bit and just did a bit more introspection. I cannot remember the name of the book and I'm going to need to really start getting better at this. But there was a book that I once read and the guy said, before you make any major decision, you sit in the dark for 30 minutes. And honestly, I'm not even joking. I just sat in the dark for 30 minutes and just thought, should I go to America? What are the pros and cons? Weighing up every little decision and the potential the potential outcomes of each decision again all of this kind of helped me make that decision and overcome the fear and then the last one and this is a rational thought because this is what i think most men need to kind of work out and understand is what is the worst shit that can happen nine times out of ten it's nothing the worst that could possibly happen that i thought of was maybe my mom or my sister or my brother got sick and I'm in the States and I can't fly back. That was kind of my mindset of the worst thing that could happen. Or maybe I get shot in America because, you know, people outside of America seem to think that America is just guns, guns, guns. I'm, I'm happy to say it isn't. I've, I've lived there now, so I can say that's not the case. It's not just guns, guns, guns. But yes, so those are some fears and that's how I overcame them. And I just thought about what's the worst that could happen. And the reality is that even the worst thing wasn't that bad. Like if my mom got sick, I knew I could get find a way home, you know, like, if I got shot, I mean, so be it, man. That's, that's the way the cookie crumbles, man. That, that means it would have been my type. And I got a crazy story. I nearly did get shot. And I won't talk about it on here, but I nearly got shot twice in America. Um, one was actually a bullet was actually fired. fired. The other time, someone pulled out a gun. They didn't use it, um, which is kind of crazy. So how can you start to overcome fear right now? Whether it's fear of talking to women, whether it's fear of investing in yourself, because that's one thing I see. A lot of guys are scared to invest in themselves. They think they can just carry on normal lives and not, not make any self-improvement, self-development, self self-investments. Um, how can you overcome 
the fear of rejection how can you overcome maybe the breakdown of some personal relationships the first thing is like i said you need to find someone in your circle that you can talk to whose opinion you trust someone you can rely on that will give you a unbiased opinion they will tell you the real honest truth like hey this is what you should do hey this is what i wouldn't recommend hey you're letting yourself down in these areas in your life so someone that's going to be brutally honest with you man that's really an important factor the next thing you want to try and think of is you need to find space in your diary space in your time to really have some more introspection and a lot of men think this is some woo-ha feminine um you know spiritual stuff like no like literally this phone keeps coming down <laughs> like literally you need to think in your diary like what time do you ever make for yourself to just spend 30 minutes to yourself just really really diving into your own mindset and how you think about things and before you make any kind of major decision you know give yourself 20 30 minutes of just deep dark thoughts about you know what's happening in your life and i guarantee you you'll start to make clearer decisions with, without all the noise going on and then the third thing you want to try and do is um think about it from a more rational and logical standpoint because a lot of us when we make decisions it's, it's too much emotion um we make too much emotional decisions and we need to start pulling ourselves back and really analyzing things from an overview perspective and that perspective should be what is the worst that can happen what is the worst that can happen? Like what? And like you just ask yourself that question. What the fuck am I scared of? And I guarantee you it's nothing. It's literally nothing. Because the worst that can happen probably won't happen anyway. Because there's a probability that it won't happen. So you've got to bear all these things in mind. Yeah, when it comes to overcoming fear. And then another thing, more of a, a tidbit, more of a kind of honourable mention is like, obviously I'm a bit ad advocate for health and fitness. So you need to make sure you're building a strong body physically you need to make sure you're building a physically strong and robust robust body like you should be getting up every day and going after it you know like hitting the gym doing your cardio learning a combat sport whether it's muay thai kickboxing boxing jiu-jitsu you should be getting after it every day or at least five days a week your body should be getting pushed to the limit you know why because there is multiple research studies done and if I get some time, I'll put them in the description. But a lot of the research indicates that a strong, a strong body leads to a more resilient mind, okay? And there's a reason why even the most famous people, the people that you wouldn't think even care about health and fitness are starting to care about health and fitness. You think about the most famous people, they all care about health and fitness because they know that a strong body leads to a strong mind. And if you want a strong mind, you've got to work for it. It's not going to happen overnight. You've got to put in the work. Okay, you got to train your mind just like you train your muscles. Um, so that is how you overcome fear. If you want to know more about mindset and training harder and thinking more positively, just watch this little video right here.